Ain't nowhere in the Bible that y'all cleaned up the pig so you could eat it. Did he clean up the skunk? No. I have not seen one of y'all order some uh, skunk chops. Not even on the menu. But the Bible says every unclean thing was on that sheet. Why don't you eat the skunk? <laughs> skunk is dirty. But he was on the sheet, though. Did you eat the pig? Oh, no, we cleaned the pig. Who cleaned the pig? Right. Now I'm just going to show you. This generation, you can't fool them. They can read. They're like, oh, the swine. He chews the cud, but he uh, he splits the hoop, but he don't chew the cud. He's off the lip. So you don't have to worry about it because your foundation is strong. So if somebody comes in and try to give you some bacon, you're like, is that turkey bacon? <laughs> is that beef bacon? If they offer you some sausage, is that chicken sausage? That's a new generation. I love it. Watch this. They so good when they be like, is it wrapped in pork casing? That's right. <laughs> Did bacon fat, did, did the pig, did grease even touch it? Come on now. Oh, I, I go to eat with my daughters, my two babies. New generation, I'm trying to tell you, new generation. They'd be like, excuse me, sir. Mm -hmm. yeah. Can you go get a clean knife? <laughs> we want this cut clean. And your gloves, can you, we didn't, you didn't change your gloves after the last verse. Can you change your gloves? <laughs> See, we lay a good foundation. The foundation is what they know. Someone called my children black. They have to straighten them out in a second. We're not black. We're brown. We're Shemite. We're Israelites. No, aren't you black people? Black is an insult. There's no people on planet Earth. They go on. They go in. Oh my goodness gracious! I'll be like, woo. <laughs> I would raise some rebels out here. <laughs> but you know why? And I'm not going to keep you guys too much longer, but I want you to understand something. When it's the foundation, yeah. you can't push them into something when you lay the proper foundation. So the foundation is being laid, and you got Ezra to help them, you got Nehemiah to help them. And they're excited, so they're putting on their priestly garments again that they weren't able to wear during the time of captivity. They are re-establishing their relationship to Yah and the covenant. So when they finish, when they finish just the foundation, which was stage one of the temple, somebody just ran on the ground. <laughs> They start singing and shouting and clapping. Somebody went got a cymbal. Somebody got the trumpet. And all of a sudden, they just broke out in praise. Yeah. And I love it. Mm -hmm. I love that they're doing what they can mm -hmm. and how they can. They went to work after captivity, laid the foundation, stood on the truth. And became an instrument of praise for the whole world. But primarily for who? Yeah. Israel. For yeah, for Israel, for the house. Now they're in there singing, shouting, looking at the foundation. They had never built nothing like that before. They had never put anything together like that before. Were they happy as they can be? And here come the ancients. Here come the party poopers. Here come the elders on Cain. On walkers. And they looking at each other going, hey, what's wrong, Bob? Hey, Pops, what's happening with you, man? Why are you crying? <laughs> Dude, we in here singing and shouting. What is wrong with you? I see what you y'all both trying to do. 
You can't stand nothing like it was. Stand nothing like it was. Pops, I know you didn't just do that to me. Is that you? I found you. Yeah. I found you, man. It was cool. You should saw. And man, when I think about how beautiful it was, and then what you young people trying to do. I know this is not really happening. And then. And they all got together and they decided, as old folk, they was going to have a pity party. Mm -hmm. And they were going to cry. What did you think about this? The, found, the foundation is being laid again for the temple. Mm -hmm. And instead of them rejoicing in the fact that Yah is rededicating his people to himself and the evidence is right in their face. There is a physical foundation that was laid by the young generation that didn't know nothing prior but slavery. And yet they have thrown off slavery and the slave mentality and what they can and can't do and decided we're giving our lives to the work of the temple and the works of Yah and the praise of Yah. And the only thing that the old heads could do was just cry because it wasn't as good as the one Solomon built. Now, I could spend a lot of time on this, but I'm not. <laughs> Solomon has some advantages that these kids didn't have. Solomon has some advantages that these young people didn't have. Solomon's daddy was David. <laughs> David had fought every battle for Israel and was so dominant that he made every nation in the world bring tribute to him and he stacked up all of the all of the tribute that they brought, he stacked it either in, a, in houses or he stacked it in piles and he covered it in barns and it was so much given to Solomon that Solomon didn't have to fight one war. He didn't have to go barter with nobody. Everywhere he went when he got ready to build a temple, they said, so are you Solomon? He said, yeah, or slow mo, yeah. Your daddy David? Yeah. That was my man right there. Your daddy. Woo! Yeah. We love him. He loved us. What you need, boy? Hey, what you need? Anything you want. Now take the young people coming out of captivity. Who piled up their goods? Who stored their wealth? Who had the barns for them? Nobody. So they had to they had to use whatever they could carry, watch this, out of captivity. I want you to keep understanding that. There's no way you can build a temple to the level of King Solomon fresh out of captivity. But they got to, they start crying. Because they had seen the first house. They wept. Because they were privileged to see the original. They saw how glorious and beautiful it was. And then they lived the 70 years of captivity to come on the other side. And now that they made it to the other side of captivity, they're weeping because they're trying to compare the two. Now this is this is me. I'm, I'm trying to listen to the conversation. I'm putting my ear close to the Bible. Okay, what are they saying? Because <laughs> you know every conversation is not recorded, so I want you to hear what they're talking about behind the scenes. And I was so glad to hear a couple of young people that had the strength. But they also have respect. I said, hey, Pops. Hey, that's young, that's your man. What are you crying 